New at six, five people have been charged for the roles they played in the deaths of a feral cat colony. Our Emily Deanne has been following this incident and as the cat colony caretakers push for justice. These cats who don't have a voice, it's justice. These are photos from the scene along drop off drive in Somerville back in October when dozens of animals were killed in a then suspected poisoning. 13 cats and three possums were found dead by cat colony caretakers from the Low Country T from the Low Country TNR and Feral Cat Network. Since then, the organization has been working with law enforcement to trap and release other cats in the area. Now caretakers say several people are facing charges. The fact that the law enforcement took this seriously and really wanted to see justice and really did their due diligence to make sure that justice is really coming for these cats, I'm I'm very grateful. Thursday morning, Michael Jeffrey Kemmerlin turned himself into Berkeley County Sheriff's Office. He was arrested and charged with criminal conspiracy and released on bond. According to the cat colony caretakers, Kemmerlin bought the poison that was left out for the animals. 28-year-old Andrew George Dock and 45-year-old Charles Whalen Umber were both charged with 13 counts of felony treatment to animals, along with torture and counts of conspiracy. Caretakers say this latest arrest means justice for the animals. Hopefully nothing like this happens again because the public will know if this happens, you will be prosecuted, you will be charged, and you are not going to get away with it. So hopefully this never happens again. Two other women, Sarah Rose Dock and Laura Mary Dock, were also charged with conspiracy. Working for you, Emily Deanne, News 4.